What's up and welcome to new 10 questions here on YouTube and Instagram. And this week we have a very special guest. Just released his Elements 2 album, Mr. Mark Sixma. How are you doing, man? Yo, yo. I'm well. What about you? Yeah, I'm good. Is it nice to finally have your album out after yeah, months of work? Exactly. I mean, I've uh, been working on it for a while, obviously, during the pandemic. And uh, it's great to see uh, it come to the light of day. Yeah, because I remember uh, when we were here last time, you also were saying like, we're doing an album right now. And I'm like... When are you going to release it? And then I think it was maybe April, May. Yeah. And finally, it's, it's here. Oh. Yeah. And I already like worked up to the... Uh, you I already have the other elements to... done as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Next one's going to be wind. Uh, or earth. Earth. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's one of see. the two. Earth, wind and fire. I think earth first. Okay. Well, first, actually, we have 10 questions here from uh, from the fans submitted to our Instagram stories. And there's a couple of nice ones. So prepare. You ready? Okay, Play first a uh, very familiar face, uh, Vicious Coat. He Vicious. wants to know, when is the M6 remix of Ya Ya Ding Dong coming out? <laughs> well, I, uh, I wanted to say I don't That's have time for it joke. during the... <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, they always ask me to play it on my Twitch streams. And uh, there's actually a pretty cool remix. I, I think it was Vicious himself who made it or he sent it to me. But um, yeah, I think once we reach uh, next goal, we'll do a remix. 20,000 subscribers on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll do a remix for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that too. Uh, Sam Mendez 8 wants to know, when are you coming to Mexico City? Well, that's a hard question. Well, hopefully soon. I mean, uh, just waiting now to... Uh, to get out in the world again. Looking forward to it. Do you have any shows planned already? Um, looking at my management, I don't think we have much, right? <laughs> well, it's only a no, matter of time. Till just, everything comes yeah, back. we're just working a lot in the studio, making new bangers, and hopefully soon we'll be things will be back to normal. I'm pretty sure they're going to be. Uh, Trancy Clopadia wants to know, rather be Mark Sixma or M6? That's a good question. Well, I am both technically, so... I mean, I but am if Mark you Sixma. have to pick... You have to pick. Yeah, well, Mark Sixma. Yeah? Yeah, but that's because that's me. But I have good memories of M6 as well. You know that before I was Mark Sixma, I actually was known as M6. Uh, and I didn't use the name Mark Sixma because of my friends in high school. They were always chanting M6 in the mix. And I thought, oh, let's take that. But then on Beatport, you had to enter three characters to search, right? So you couldn't <laughs> even find my music on Beatport. So then I thought, okay, maybe Mark Sixma. That explains your PlayStation uh name uh, yeah <laughs> yeah well you changed it now so that's good uh, next question pc barbs too wants to know how do you get to know what kind of trends you want to make at the moment that's a good question like okay let's go to the m6 part how do you know do you want to make a banger or a progressive one it just naturally comes you know some days you feel like making a banger and some days you just want to float away in like euphoric melodies it just depends on the mood, I guess. So mm -hmm. I, I don't think of it that much before I start in the studio. I just let it uh, let it flow. And basically. which mood goes with which genre? Uh, M6 is definitely more trance-oriented and Mark Sixma is, you know, a bit more versatile, different things as well. I actually did a track with Darren Styles. So, uh, oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, it was so much fun to do. Uh, and also I have some, some lower BPM tracks, uh, some more streaming music as well. So versatile. Yeah. That's awesome. I think that's, a, that's the way to go, to be honest. Uh, Nadine wants to know, what is your favorite flavor ice cream? Ooh, uh, banana and uh, stracciatella. Ooh, nice, good picks. Yep. I can agree with you. Uh, next question, Seaweed Beast wants to know, uh, will you be doing a special M6 stream on your Twitch soon? Yeah, I guess we're, we're going to do it uh, maybe tomorrow because uh, of the compilation we got to celebrate. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, that sounds good. All right, here comes the question of questions. I'm looking at Dan right now. He's sitting right there. <laughs> What's your favorite dance move? And you can show it. All right. Uh, my favorite one, I guess, is heavy shopping. Heavy shopping? Because okay. it's easy. I'll teach you. Okay, let's do it. All right. I'm not sure if I can do it in my seat, though, but uh, it's basically you're holding two heavy bags. Yeah. And then go like... Oof, oof. That's just heavy shopping. Heavy shopping. Okay, okay. So Everyone can do it. <laughs> that's this. That's your favorite dance move? It's the easiest one, so yeah, I stuck with that. Okay, so... Moon, moonwalk is my favorite, but I can't do it. So. Oh, I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. Do it. No, I can do it. Why not? I said, I. Why not? I mean, it's hard. So what if you do a moonwalk with? I can do it on heavy, my chair, heavy like shoppers. this. Heavy shoppers moonwalk. <laughs> I'll practice. <laughs> okay, I'll next practice. time when you're here with the next I'll element, to, uh, I want to see a moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, DJ Meridian officially wants to know where do you bring your inspiration from? Where do you get your inspiration from? Ah, uh, it can be anything. Uh, watching a movie or something on TV. 
uh, can be like um, something, an event in your life that's uh, really, you know, hit your core. But it can also be, you know, other music. You know, if I listen to music, uh, if I listen to a track for the first time, I already like picture in my head like a different melody on the same theme. Sometimes that just happens. So, uh, yeah, different things. Are you one of those people? Because I am. If you go to a party and you hear a song that you start like, okay, this is how they did uh, this and this and this. And oh, okay, that's the sound that, you know, you start analyzing yeah. the track instead of enjoying it. I mean, a little bit, but not every time, you know. Sometimes sometimes there's just a track and you're like, whoa, this you know, is so good. And other times you're analyzing, but if a track is really stands out, you're like, then I start then I start wondering, hmm, I wonder how, how they did, did that. that? Yeah. Oh, okay, which confessed yeah, it? Yeah. 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 Uh, next one, Elena Six Nine Luca wants to know what can you say about your new album Elements Two? How many tracks are included, and do you have any new collabs on there? Uh, three. That's questions a lot of questions actually. Okay, so the first question uh, was it sixteen tracks are on there. Yeah. Um, I think the one you're gonna be definitely going to check out is my collab with Orion Nilsson, mm -hmm. uh, Pantheon. I uh, really love that one. A remix for Rex Mundi and Susanna. Nothing at all. I uh, got my, the opening track, M6 Aqua. And just go check it out. There's so many great tracks on there. A lot of, lot of talented producers. Uh, Marlo is on there. I played a track, uh, Lost Witness, Rubik Remix, um, Alex Sonata and the Rio. Just go check Temple One. Amazing music. So it goes from progressive all the way up to banging. Yep, that's right. It's and a that's, journey. That's the the element water is. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> is there any link, or is it just like it's, it's element? Like, this is like no. It's um, <laughs> um, water has different faces. You know, it can be calm, soothing, but it can also be like very powerful, invigorating. And I feel uh, trance is the same. You know, you have your progressive trance, nice chill, and then you have like banging trance, uplifting side trance. So it has multiple faces as well. So that's the connection I made between the two. Okay. Well, the last one already. And um, I don't know. Yeah. Tone Ross, you know, Ross, he wants of to know course. when are you going to collab with Ruben? Oh, okay. That's an well, open invitation, I guess. I, I mean, if the question was coming from you, Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do a... Uh, for, let's do it. Uh, let's I, for, I would love, I'd love to do it. Yeah. For the next, uh, for the next Elements uh, series, we're going to do a collaboration. 100%. Let's do that. That'd be okay. awesome. Okay. Well, that's it already. Wasn't that bad. No, no. They spared me. Except for the dance moves. Heavy shopper. Let's remember that one. Next time when we go to a party with uh, with Mark, please do the heavy shopping. Heavy shopping. Everybody knows it now, right? <laughs> State of trends. <laughs> heavy stage. Shopper. Heavy shopping. <laughs> Thank you once again. Uh, next time we're going to be back with Factory. If you have any questions for him, write them down here in the YouTube section and uh, I'll see you. Bye-bye.